a little bit more with Venn diagrams, and I just printed me off a whole bunch of them so that we could go through a few examples really fast. Um, so what if I had said, I'm going to do in orange the set A and B. Well, where would that be? Well, that's the intersection, so that's right here, right? Now, what if over here I said, well, on this side, I want to do the set that's the complement of A and B, or not A and B. So that would mean everything else except for that. All right, what about if I'd had um, A, oh, this is a good one, unioned with not B. Okay, so union is different than intersection. I'm going to take everything that's in A, including that part that was B, and union it with the rest that's not B. Now, I really want to compare that one to um, A intersect not B. Ah, okay. So intersection normally would be A where A and B meet. Now, not B is everything on the outside of this circle, right? If I'm intersecting everything on the outside of that circle with A, then I'm actually getting this part. Do you see the difference between an intersection and the union of those two? Um, let me see if I can find some other ones that we can do. Let's see. What about... Well, what about, what if we did just look at not B? Where is all that? Well, not B is everything on the outside of B. Okay. Um, what about, let's see what we haven't done yet. Ooh, what about A union B? That would be everything together. But what if I took the complement? So it's everything on the outside of their union. And you see that these can get be really funny. Now, we talked about the null set a little bit, but we didn't really look at an example. What if I said that the intersection of my two sets was the empty set? What does that mean? Well, that means that if I put them together, try to find where they crisscross, there's nothing there. So what would that look like? That would mean that they're not touching. I wanted to make sure I got a visual of that because I know there was some confusion there. All right. Let's see. Um, what if we took it to the next level? What if we have three circles? What if I wanted to do, so we have A, B, and C. Um, A intersects C. So we're ignoring B completely. That would be right here. What if we did A intersects C, which we already have, but let's union that with B. So we already had the A intersects C, and when I say union it with B, I'm going to include all of B. All right, let's see. What about A? We're going to keep doing that A intersects C as our main one. 
and then intersect that with not B. Okay, so we still had this, but now we're saying we don't want B. So it'd be just right there. So these can get really fun, um, the shading part especially. And if you need more practice with it, I do have um, a lot of practice ones that I can help you with. Um, the usefulness here um, comes when you actually get to do problems involving the Venn diagrams. So if you'll go to the next video, we're actually going to do some examples of that.